Hello, this is Ben. Welcome to Bean Life again. Thank you for watching the channel. Uh, again, here to talk a little bit more about the Live 19 bunkhouse. Um, and I wanted to give a behind the scenes tour. So what I'm talking about there is what's behind all of the components. How do you maintain it? Uh, you know, what's, what's it look like if you're trying to fix things? Anyway, I wanted to walk through the trailer and show you maybe the things that you wouldn't see in just a typical walk around video. So let's get started. Let's walk on inside. Actually, let's start right here. So here is your opening for storage. I wanted to start with the overall construction of the uh, thermoplastic panels themselves. They are a honeycomb type plastic in nature. If you get real close, you can actually see the honeycomb and the plastic there. And so there are, that's the structure of the plastic itself. You can see that a little bit by looking inside the trailer. This is one of the panel boards um, and see the, the plastic here, the honeycomb style structure. Again, there's another one. And these ledger boards underneath here are just holding up those other panels. So again, not much wood in here at all. Um, we'll talk a little bit about what wood is in this camper, but right now you can just see that's the overall structure of the camper is this thermoplastic honeycomb board. And then the way that they connect those is through uh, plastic material that's put through a heat gun and melted almost like caulk and it puts it together and seals it. I'll show you a little bit more of those seams coming up. So that's a little bit about the panels themselves and how they're affixed together. Here's a look at underneath the wheel well. You can see that these panels just come together. It's a little dirty under here from use. But some more about what that actually looks like there. All right. Coming on inside, I wanted to show you, if you pull out the drawers, you can see in here, it's just all thermoplastic welded together. As you pull out the drawers, you'll notice that this is just an empty cubby, no wood other than the drawers themselves, uh, except for the outer part is made of wood. So that's what it looks like underneath there. Nothing really to maintain there. Over here, you'll see the panel where you have your electronics. And in order to get to this, you likely would have to take off these screws right here, pull off the plastic and then we'll open up the, the panel inside here because what you'll notice is that this is only about elbow deep on me. So this cubby is about elbow deep. But if you go over here to the whole area it is past shoulder deep. So it is... Uh, there's an empty pocket back there where they're running a lot of the electronics and things. And what you can do, if you get onto this drawer, you can see there are some of the electronics that they're running in the, there's this outdoor speaker, the outdoor outlet. Yeah, and so fairly easy to get to your components here and work on them if you needed to change a speaker or replace an outlet, you can easily get to it. I wanted to see on the lower bunk, Here's the access port. Again, a piece of thermoplastic. You just open it up and you have access to your freshwater tank and your water pump. And of course, some plumbing here as well. Some lines there for cold water. So that is, of course, your freshwater fill. But that is how you access it. Pretty straightforward and easy. Behind the scenes tour there of underneath right now I will say that your refrigerator if you look in here there's a piece of thermoplastic that they basically put on top of the fridge to help keep it from tipping so you just reach in there you can pop that out if you wanted but it is basically securing the top to keep it from wanting to to tilt or move around now we have installed a keeper here for the door uh, I would recommend that but you'll see down here 
that it has been riveted in place on the bottom. So if you needed to get it out, you could just pop those rivets. And so that is securing the refrigerator on the bottom. And then this is securing the refrigerator on the top. And with those two things, it does stay in here pretty well. All right, so how do we see, again, behind the scenes here, another drawer you can pull out to get underneath the sink and the stove you can see underneath here you've got access to your plumbing that's going to the shower your electric that's going to the uh, refrigerator your gas lines and of course uh, some plumbing also this is the back side of your electric heater so if you needed access to or to get that out or replace it it's pretty easy to do as well so right there is your outdoor shower if you have it installed you can get access and gain access to that and if you had to you could take out this to really get some access but for the most part everything you need is right in there and again those will take out this drawer and show you there's the plug right there that's likely the plug for your stove, your, your uh, electric heater. Right here is your panel. Pretty easy access. So underneath, again, these are just thermoplastic boards. A lot of great storage underneath here. You can see pretty much how it's all put together. Very simple, very easy to get to. There is the storage that we've got access to either inside or outside. So pretty straightforward. Um, if you're looking to work on this trailer yourself, the great part about it is the components are uh, pretty straightforward and simple. Um, you can gain access to them pretty easily and it should not be a problem to do most of your own, own maintenance on it if you're handy. And uh, so hopefully that was helpful to just see a little bit behind the scenes of how the trailer is constructed and how you might gain access to all of your panels. Oh, I do believe I left out one more component that I did unscrew. So here you'll see with four screws, those right there, you can gain access to your hot water heater, which is a tankless hot water heater and all your plumbing. And that is great way again to easily access that from the inside and also of course you have your access from outside so i hope this material was helpful again if you have any questions please comment below if this was helpful to you please like the video and subscribe for more content and we'll talk to you next time thank you